Hi, I'm Maureen Hansen, and this is my exhibition, Carbon Kaleidoscope, here at the Wollongabba Art Gallery. And um, we have this beautiful painting called Between Birth and Old Age, There Is Life. And it's done from four different points of, on a glass, glass, black glass table um, in my dining room. And let's have a look at all the reflected light and beauty of carbon kaleidoscope. We're coming in here. It's a beautiful space here at Wollongabba um, at the Art Gallery. So we've got, this one is Harmony of Spheres, uh, where you can see my reflection in my kitchen over there. And it's about the living things and all the beautiful vases and glass objects that are all thrown together. So after Harmony of Spheres, we've got um, the golden bird self-portrait, uh, which has a wooden atom here, um, a vintage uh, European perfume bottle from the early 20th century, and even a plant that my um, beautiful friend who's no longer with us gave me. So it's all about the way things come together and pass each other in life. Living things. Here's a beautiful um, bunch of flowers that my sister arranged called Life's a Bunch, and you can see the wonderful use of rose matter in this painting to get those purples and pinks. Um, rose matter was the colour found on the wealthy walls of the Pompeii folk, and it comes from the rose matter tinctum root, and it's about $140 a tube, but it has a beautiful translucent quality to give these pinks a glow. So we've got the German beer pots and the purple ginger flower from my garden, and just that idea of looking into the objects and developing depth. Um, this black plate down the bottom is actually a Martin Boyd. So all the ceramics have lived a wild life before they came to me. And here is Carbon Kaleidoscope. Um, there I am reflected painting the images. Uh, we've got a 1970s Avon car and the light pouring through. And it's just offering a, a sort of a playground um, of light and colour to fall through. These are fields of colour. And here's a little Indian spinning top to refer to the um, spontaneity or chance in our lives. So here's um, the magical rainforest on my kitchen bench. This is what it looks like. I made it. And um, here I am painting these um, plants which agreed to be inside for me for uh, about two months. Um, we've got a woolen aubergine so the eye can fall on a soft place, and a purple gin bottle, um, and some of the sweet little flowers that are coming up on the begonias up the top. So um, there's some really nice things happening in this mystical um, still life on my garden bench. Yeah, I mean kitchen bench. It is like a garden though. Let's have a look at this. Um, this is um, my tribute to Manet. He did um, 12 flower paintings um, at the end of his life when his friends bought him some beautiful um, uh, flowers from their garden and he'd just pop them in a drinking glass and do these gorgeous paintings by, from his bed. So that was one of my favourites in the dragon vase. And that was probably around about mm, 1858. Um, but a uh, good painting never goes out of style. And um, this was one of the last paintings that I did for the show where the light was pouring across the same bench where or the garden was set up. And this perfume bottle, um, the blue kitchen, um, these objects which you know came from different op shops in Maryborough or Brisbane, they have all come together to um, enter like a family photo. This is the beautiful golden bird um, and a piece of coral uh, uh, reflected in the golden bird portrait. So, That's right, yes. Um, on this side, we've got um, the self-portrait in uh, the brandy balloon and the begonias. There's lots of different objects in here that are growing, like the onion from my cupboard, and lots of uh, beautiful contrasts in colour and light just bouncing around. Some of these objects, like this, is a replica of 
a vase that was found in the Egyptian tombs that I brought at the British Museum. So glass has um, been with us for ages and here's a beautiful 70s take on it. I grew up near Mer um, in Meriburrah, near Rainbow Beach. So the coloured sands were really um, important to me as a child. And um, when I found this beautiful plastic crab, I felt that he needed to be near the 70s coffee table and be in the psychedelic sand. And here we have um, one of the last paintings done, which is a self-portrait in gunfish from an earlier painting done in 1998. And this painting was one of the last paintings to be done. And I am painted with my eyes closed because I couldn't see my eyes open. And in the end, I look like I'm reading by braille or painting by feel. So the artist sees by feel in this fish portrait. And here, um, in, back in the 90s, um, this is my first portrait in gunfish where I thought, it's a delightful uh, lustreware vase, but it's also got um, my, my nephew's um, gun from when he was three. And um, you can see my portrait in the metal sort of Barbarella gunfish there. So yeah, come and have a look at the drawings, which are part of the show too, because the paintings are quite saturated, full of light, but follow me to the drawings. On the way, <laughs> Here we go. I just thought I'd show you my palette. Um, I go through one of these about every three months and they're on rice paper and I just build up my colours. It takes 10 days for oil paint to dry, but that's pretty much um, what I get my mix my paint on, on rice paper. So leaving that alone, Let's have a look at these babes. Um, this one, uh, Lorena, uh, is charcoal dancer um, with quite a funky, fresh feel. And our next girl is Golden Girl. Um, she was uh, posing probably for, I think it's a, um, no more than a 10 minute sketch. And here we have Femme standing, just enjoying those um, areas of light and dark on the body and the way that the forearm cuts a shape on the face. And then we've got Femme Seated, which um, is another um, fine example of what happens uh, in the few minutes that you're drawing. It has a kind of a Brett Whiteley elongation feel and it kind of suits her because she's an um, art student and a skater and so she just put on all her baggy clothes and jumped off and skated out the door, this girl. So she's a fantastic model. Um, here we have uh, the um, shadow of your hand, which is also a lovely reference to um, the model, not as an object of desire, but just as an aesthetic, like a vase um, or something in a still life. So thanks so much for coming to Carbon Kaleidoscope. It's been great having you here, and I certainly hope you come and see the show. It finishes on the 30th of August. Thank you. 20th, sorry. <laughs>